that we're broken. Yes. Yeah. He knows that we're bad. He yeah. knows our confused state of mind. He yeah. knows what the enemy keeps telling us. Yeah. Yeah. The first battle must be won. That's in the mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joining us yes. to worship and praise our great God. So we thank God and praise Him for bringing us to this point in our service this afternoon. I ask you to join me in just visiting the Word, if you will. Very brief passage of Scripture, but yet quite familiar. Mm -hmm. Very brief, but yet quite familiar. Uh -huh. Let's go to the Gospels, if you will. The Gospels. The Gospels. Let's go over to John. The Gospel of John, the 14th chapter. If you're hearing from John, the 14th chapter. And guess where we're going to begin? The first verse. Glory to God. Glory to God. And you find it, say amen. 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 You're still we are reading. Let us read it together. If, can, can we read it together? Amen. amen. And we're reading. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Now let us pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our Father and our God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. Abba, Abba, Father, Oh God, it's, it's us again. <coughs> God, I, I, I know that that we've come every day. Sometime early in the morning, mm -hmm. get slow. Sometime at night, Jesus. Other times at noon. Yes. But God, we keep coming. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Because we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God, we keep coming. Yes. Because we have some problems. Yes, Lord. We keep coming. Yes, Lord, Jesus. God, because we want to hear what you have to yes. say about us. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And God, so we come into thy presence. Yes. With our prayers and our supplications. Yes, yes Lord. Expecting a word from you, Holy yes, Spirit. Lord. Lord. So God, it's us again. Yes, yes. We've come. Yes, we've come. We've come, God, first just to say thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for last night's grind down. Yes. Thank you for how you watched over us all week long. Yes. Shield and protect us from her harm and danger. Yes, Lord. When danger was all around us, yes. when, when death would have sifted us like we got, it was you who was in the midst. Yes. If it had not been for you who was on our yes, side. Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now. Thank, thank you, Lord. We thank you right now, thank God. You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come, God, mm -hmm. to invite you into our service. Yes. To invite you into our situation. Yes. Yes. To invite you into our circumstances. Yes. We come now, God, saying, speak a word to us, yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Restore yes. the joy of our salvation. Yes. And we shall give you praise. Yes. We need you, Father. We need a word from you today. Yes, Lord. Speak, Lord. Say, Lord, yes. speak into our lives. Yes. There's power in yes. your word. Yes. There's deliverance yes. in your word. Yes. There's healing yes. in your word. Yes. Glorify yourself yes. in us today. Yes. Glorify yes. yourself in your word today. Yes. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus. God, our hearts are troubled. Yes. There is a heaviness, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. You said that these things would come to pass, God, and they're here. Yes. They're here, Lord. Yes. But God, you said in all things. All things. If we just give you praise. Yes. In the name of Jesus. The, of Jesus. the spirit of praise. Yes. For the garment of heaven. Yes, Lord. God, you've given it to us today. Yes. yes. We've come into the courts with thanksgiving. Yes. yes. Into the gates with praise, yes. Lord. Yes. We're thankful unto you. Yes. And we bless yes. 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 I will bless the Lord yes. at all times. All time. And your praises your praise. shall continuously yes. be in my mouth. I will say yes. of the Lord, you are my refuge. Yes. You are my refuge. Yes. My shield and my buckler. 
Yes. The Lord is the strength of my life. Yes. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes. Ah, glory to God. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now, God. Thank for you, the power Jesus. Of your preaching. Yes. God, you say this by the foolishness of preaching that men are saved. Yes. So God, speak now. Thank you, Jesus. Take control, God, of these clay lips yes, of mine. Yes. Use me as you will. Yes, Empty vessel, God, I come. Yes. Fill me up, Lord. Yes. Fill me with your spirit. Yes. Holy Ghost, fill me. Take control of my mind, my, yes. my thoughts, yes. my, my, my words. God, yes. you speak. In the name of Jesus. You speak, Lord. In the name of Jesus. That the spirit might heal us. Church might hear what the Spirit is saying. Yes. We need you, Father. We need you, Father. We need a word from you. Yes. God, we'll forever give you glory. Yes. We'll forever give you praise. Yes. We love you, Father. We Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. And we bless your name. Yes. This is our prayer, God. Yes. Collectively, Collectively. We, come. we come in Jesus' name. In Jesus. And the redeemed said, Amen. 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 Seated in the presence of our great God. Jesus. 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 Have your seat. Glory to God. Let not your heart be troubled. Be troubled. Thank you, Lord. believe in God. Believe also in me. Mm -hmm. These are the words of our Lord and our Savior, yes. Jesus the Christ and we share today. How many of you uh, look at television from time to time and you see uh, the caption or you see the news uh, review and uh, it's captioned uh, the week in review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The week in review. And what, what it is, it's a news segment, and, and, and what, it, what they do is they go back and, and they highlight the things that have transpired over that last week. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The week in review. I submit to you today that if we were to host that program today, glory to God, uh, the week in review. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we wouldn't have a whole lot of positive things to share. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Uh, if the truth be told, we, we would have to tell the story of the senseless killings. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we would have to tell about the open brawling of young people in the street, a, a, a blatant show of violence. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have to tell the viewing audience about the unrest in foreign lands. Mm -hmm. uh, we could tell them about the trouble that's brewing in France right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we could tell them that in France, there's uproar because of a new law regarding pensions, and, and people have literally taken to the streets protesting in anger and threatening violence. Mm -hmm. Glory, to God. Glory to God. We'd have to tell them about Syria mm -hmm. and the troubles that they're facing. We'd have to tell them about the rumors of war that have surfaced after a U.S. contractor was killed and five service members were killed in addition to another contractor that was wounded uh, uh, by, by, by an unmanned aerial vehicle. We have to tell them. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. We'd have to tell them about the, the, the coalition forces in Syria and how that the United States uh, lynched, lynched out at them because of these unnecessary killings by this drone. We'd have to tell them about the wars and the rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. We'd have to tell them that in retaliation, the United States launched its own attack 
against its foreign adversaries. Mm. Wars and rumors of wars. This would be our week in review. And, and I submit to you today that, that some could probably add to that and say, you know, I've had trouble on the job, trouble in the home. My body's not been feeling well. I've been a little under the weather, this and that, and from the spouse to the to the children, to the job, to the health, to the yeah. finances, to yeah. the strip, to, to the wear. To, we, we could just go on and on and on and on. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Am I right about it? Amen. Maybe I'm not right, but, but I believe somebody would say amen. Amen. Review. Yes. But I want to tell you this morning that the week is behind us. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Uh, yes. The, the week is uh, yes. behind us. Yes. Uh, it, it encompassed a lot of things. Uh -huh. But praise be to God that, that it's behind us. Uh -huh. It's behind you and I. And, and as saints of the Most High God, uh, we don't look back. Okay. Glory to God. But, but, but we, we press toward the mark. Yes. Am I right about yes. it? Yes. We press toward the mark. And, and if I could, just for a brief time that I have before you today, as the Holy Spirit give utterance, if I were to leave a thought with you, uh -huh. I would say, trouble uh -huh. can't last always. Yes. Yes. Not don't last, but, yes. but can't last always. always. Yes. Glory to God. Uh, it comes, but, but it can't last always. always. Yes. There's a songwriter by the name of Luther Barnes, mm -hmm. and he penned some lyrics to a song that says, there's something on the inside of me mm -hmm. that's telling me to go ahead. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Uh, that there's something on the inside of me telling me to go ahead. Yes. In other words, in spite of the week in review, yes. Troubles come like tides in our lives. Uh -huh. 
Sometimes they come like floods in our life. And, but, but, but I found in my life mm -hmm. that the tides uh -huh. and the currents uh -huh. don't determine That's uh, right. my destination. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Can, can you receive that today? Yes. Yes. The tides uh -huh. nor the currents uh -huh. that come in our lives yes. are determinant of our end state. Glory to God. Where we're going to end up on our destination. Yes. This is this is similar to rudders and and engines and sails on a ship. Uh -huh. They have a job to do. Uh -huh. The rudders, yes. glory to God, moving and, and the engine churning and the sail swaying left and right in the wind. Uh, but 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 don't dare ignore. The, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Just like we can't ignore the tides. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. And we can't ignore the currents. Right. Glory to God. Uh, but, but, but you also uh, never get anywhere uh -huh. if you don't let them you, uh, get you'll never, you'll never get, you know, if you let them dictate your direction. Yes. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me say that again because yes. I baffled that a little bit. Well, while you can't dare ignore the ties and the currents, uh -huh. you also never uh, get anywhere if you allow the ties and the currents to dictate uh -huh. your direction. Uh -huh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you can, uh, you make the ties and the currents Serve you. Yes. Glory to God. Mm. You make the you in other words, you turn the table. Y'all uh, yes. don't hear me. Yes. That ain't good yes. preaching. You turn the table. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. You don't allow the tide to give you the direction, but you turn the table yes. and uh, cause the ties to serve you. Yes. When you can't go with the current, um. you learn to cut across. Yeah. The best you can. Okay. Yes. But always keeping your destiny mm -hmm. in mind. Yes. yes. Always keeping your destiny in mind. Mm -hmm. Glory, to Glory to God. Trouble can't last always. always. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Trouble can't last yes, always. In, in this text that we see today, it's the apostle, it's, it's, it's our Messiah, it's the Son of God speaking to his disciples, letting them know trouble can't last always. Okay. So, so don't you let your heart be troubled. Jesus. See, you see, when you think about the story, and you know it's an old passage, you know the story. By the time we get to this point in John, in the book of John, the 14th chapter, right? Oh. The apostles, all of them, all 12 of them, these people are now hearing Jesus say, I must leave you. Mm -hmm. I'm a, this is like a father who has been walking with them and holding their hand, mm -hmm. literally feeding them and guiding them, teaching them and instructing them and making ways out of nowhere for them. Mm -hmm. And now they're hearing him say, it's going to be okay, but I got to go. Mm -hmm. Like a little child wondering, why, why is my mom or my dad leaving me yeah. and not taking me with them? Yeah. Glory to God. Telling me that they must go away. Yeah. Where are they going and why? Yeah. And when are they coming back? Yeah. This would be the mindset of the apostles in this season. This is, our, this is our master. This is our Lord. In other words, this is daddy. Yes. Glory to God. He is our leader. He is our confidant. He is our God. He is our everything. Yes, everything. Glory to God. Simon, who, who, who was named Peter, he and Andrew, they were fishermen. Mm -hmm. Fishermen. This is how they made their living. They, they dropped their, the Bible said they put their nets down mm -hmm. to go with daddy. Mm -hmm. They put their nets down to go with Jesus. Glory to God. Not, not only did, 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 did Simon, who is Peter, and Andrew do this, but also James and John. Yes. Mm -hmm. They did the same thing. Left everything that was familiar to them, their common lifestyle, their common way of left it, dropped it. Mm -hmm. Hiatus. Left it, dropped it. 
so that they could go along with that, so that they could follow after Jesus. The Bible teaches that they were fishermen also, but they were on the business end of fishing. Mm -hmm. They owned the fishery. They had the boats that they, people had to rent the boats from them to go out and do the deep sea fishing. Mm -hmm. Then you have Philip and Bartholomew dropped everything they were doing. Everything that was familiar, left their family, left their loved ones. Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who's called Zelote, and, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who was, eventually became the traitor. All of them left what was familiar, left their lives, left, dropped immediately what they were doing to follow this man named Jesus. And now, years later, years of following him and, 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 and being at his beck and call and watching him do the signs and the wonders and the miracles, and now you're leaving? Now you're going to leave us to this lynch mob of people who don't like you and know that we are associated with you and don't like us? Now you're leaving? When our children are now grown and our spouses have moved on because we have given up our lives to follow you, mm. now you're leaving? When I have lost my sense of trade, when I've lost my sense of skill, when I can't do for myself anymore, when I've become 110% dependent upon you, now you're leaving? Mm. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is the dilemma that they faced. Mm. This is the trouble that was on their mind. What will we do now? What will happen to us now? If you leave, where are we going to go? What shall we do when you leave us now? Where are you going? When are you coming back? Why can't we go with you? You say you're going and we know, but we, how can we know the way? You are the way for us. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. These were their arguments. You are the way. We don't know the way, even though he's taught them, even though he's shown them by example, led them by example. They're thinking, what are we going to do? How will we make it? Glory be to God. I submit to you today that the story truly begins to unfold in John 14. When Jesus tells his disciples, let not your heart be troubled. So we will back up and just take a look at what leads up to Jesus' command to the disciples to let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. If we go back to John, the 12th chapter, mm -hmm. Jesus in the 12th chapter tells the crowds, which include the disciples, that he would be crucified. Mm -hmm. yeah. Glory to God. This is in the 12th chapter. So, so, so in the 12th chapter, they find out that he's going to be murdered. They believe him because they know that he's prophetic. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine your parent or, or your closest loved one saying, I'm, I'm going to be murdered. My, my. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. th th there's a lynch mob and, and, and it's going to happen. And I don't have the time, but I know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Can you imagine the weight that that will place on your mind my, my, my. and in your life? In John, the 13th chapter, in a very intimate setting uh, of the Passover meal, the meal as, 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 that we know of today that's called the Last Supper, the communion meal, at that table and during that time that was supposed to be a time of celebration and, and joy and breaking of bread and drinking of wine and, and laughing and joking and just generally enjoying one another's company, Jesus breaks out and he tells the disciples, not only am I going to be murdered, but before I murder, one of you of my closest comrades my is going to turn on me. My. Glory to God. Can you imagine being at the table with all of your closest friends, your closest confidants, mm -hmm. your closest ones, Taylor? Closest ones, the ones that walk with you every day, mm -hmm. call you every day, text you every day, eat lunch with you every day. And he says, one of you is a traitor. Mm -hmm. One of you is going to betray me. And, 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 and certainly everyone at the table begins to look in the faces of everyone else. Yeah. Now everyone is suspicious of the other one. Yeah. Glory to God. You see the level of confusion? 
Can you just imagine being in the midst? One of the disciples. One of you is going to betray me. Glory to God. And then he goes on and he and he tells Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter's at the table, of course. And, and he tells Peter. But, but the thing about Peter is, Peter is like the leader. Mm -hmm. he, he's like the ringleader. Peter, Peter is, is the chief among soldiers, if you will. Mm -hmm. and, and he looks at Peter. And, and when he calls Peter's name, everybody looks at Peter. Mm -hmm. And he tells Peter, and Peter, you're going to be the one to deny me. Mm -hmm. They gasp. My, my. They can't believe it. Mm -hmm. What is going on? The master is going to be killed. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to betray him. And then Peter is going, Peter, not Peter, not you, Peter. Right. I know you ain't going to betray the master. Right. You're going to deny him? You're going to deny him. And they believe these things because the master is telling them these things. And they trust and they believe. But he tells Peter that Peter will deny and disown the Lord. Obviously, all of this was upsetting news to the disciples. But I submit to you today, church, in all of the trouble that we face, Trouble can't last always. Glory to God. No, no matter how troublesome all the news was, trouble could not last always. It could not last because, one, we must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Glory to God. That's number one. Glory to God. He is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So trouble can't last always. Not when we put God's word into action in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. When we cry out, I love the Lord. Why? Why do we love him? We love him because he's heard our cries. And he's pitied every groan. Glory to God. When we cry unto the Lord, hallelujah, and we say unto him, even when troubles arise, I'll still hasten to your throne. Yes. This is the mindset that the disciples should have had, but yet they were sorrowful. They didn't have this mindset. They didn't say that he has bowed his ear and has chased my griefs away and my heart was in despair and he gave me the breath to pray. They didn't say this. They said, Lord, what are you going to do? Why are you leaving us? Where are you going? Yes. Glory be to God. The Bible declares that we should sing unto the Lord saints a new song and give thanks unto him. Why? Because trouble can't last always. Glory be to God. Glory to God. We've been might endure, we've been made endure for a night, but the joy of the Lord cometh in the morning, and in my prosperity I can say I shall never be moved. Yes. But the disciples didn't think on those things. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The Bible just declares that they who can overcome trouble says, the Lord, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Yes. The disciples weren't thinking of that. The Bible tells us to put all of our trust in the Lord and lean not until our own understanding. But the disciples weren't thinking about that. The Bible tells us that in all of our ways we should acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. Yes. And that we shouldn't be wise in our own eyes. And that there should be a fear of the Lord within us. But the disciples didn't see that. Didn't hear that. Didn't read that. Didn't go for that. Glory to God. Let not your heart be troubled. What Jesus was saying to them, I must go away, but don't worry because when I go, I'm going to send a comforter. No matter what you have to face, you can be an overcomer because I've overcome this world. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. You are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who gives you the strength to go on. Glory be to God. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Glory to God. This is what the, the Father was saying to the sons. In spite of it all. In spite of the traitor. In spite, glory to God, of the denial. In spite of the traitor. And in spite of the denial. Glory to God. I'll be with you. 
Yes, Lord. Trouble can't last always. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him. And he delivered them out of all of their trouble. Therefore, trouble can't last always. Amen. Glory to God, because he will give angels charge over thee to keep thee in all of thy ways. Trouble can't last always, because thou will, will show me the pathways of life in thy presence. And in thy presence is the fullness of joy, and at thy right hand there's pleasures forevermore. Trouble can't last always. Amen. When Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled, he was using those words as a source of comfort yes. for his disciples. Today, he uses it, presents it to us as a source of comfort. A source of comfort for us who are troubled in minds, who, who have heavy hearts. Jesus promises us that his death will not be the end. For us, his death was not the end, and Peter's denial did not end it for Peter. Glory to God. We ought to rejoice today in knowing that when we've erred in our way, it's not the end for us. Yes. When we've erred in our way, he doesn't cast us or ostracize us. Glory to God. But glory to God, we thank God that in his death, hallelujah, and, and his subsequent ascension into the heavens, glory to God, Rather than leaving us destitute because he died. place for us. Uh -huh. And then he's coming back to receive us unto himself. And that's what the Bible says. But, but, but I just want to just say this today. Jesus is not building anything. My, my, my. Glory to God. Uh -huh. uh, so, so let us make sure that we're clear. He's not away in heaven building anything. Glory to God. Because he died. Uh -huh. The way is already made. Yes. Yes. The building is already made. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he died. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So, so rather than leaving us destitute, glory to God, uh, it, it has enabled him to prepare a place. Glory to God. And, 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 and it will allow him to, to send the Holy Spirit in to give us the comfort that we need. Glory to God. This is why he went on to say that in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, you. Glory to God. And if I go and prepare a place for you, glory to God, I will come again and receive you unto myself so that where I am there, you may be also. Glory to God. When Jesus said he was going to prepare a place for the disciples, he was speaking of his dying. Yes. He was speaking of his death. So, so we should not imagine that Jesus has been away building heaven mm -hmm. uh, uh, for some 2,000 plus years and, 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 and that is still under construction. Rather, his words mean that his death was a preparation for us to receive a place in his father's house. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And, 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 and because he died, Yes. The place is ready. Yes. Glory to God. It's ready and it's waiting for us. This is why the Bible declares that God rejoices at the death of his saints. Yes. Yes. Because we're coming back to our Father. Yes. Trouble can't last always when we put our hope and our faith and our trust in him. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. A part of the, 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 the rallying of the disciples of uh, fears, Jesus also promised that he, uh, that he didn't leave the earth and that he would send the Holy Spirit to us and to all other believers. Glory to God. So although he left them in the natural, mm -hmm. uh, he sent the spiritual behind. Mm -hmm. He sent the spirit to mm -hmm. stand watch in his absence. Glory to God. To be a revelator 
to us who are called him Lord, to those of us who fear him on today. Yes. Trouble can't last always. always. Glory to God. Trouble can't last always. So through John chapters 15 and 16, Jesus speaks of the disciples' victory over the world and, and, and by the power of the Spirit. So that lets us know that he has left victory in our view. My Glory God. to God. In spite of the week in review, we can have victory in the weeks ahead. Mm. Glory to God. We don't have to be discouraged. The book of Acts gives a, a, a very detailed historical fulfillment of the promises uh, of God to the believers. Glory to God. It shows us the power of his spirit. It shows us the power that the spirit had when it took over the world. Took the world by storm. The gospel was spreading like wildfire. I submit to you today that the spirit is still at work. In the life of the believers. Amen. Glory be to God. John 14 again and 1. It, 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 it's all about our faith. Yes. It's all about our trust. Glory to God. And because see trust and faith. They go hand in hand. Yes. Glory to God. If, if Jesus uh, had wanted to. Uh, uh, he could have given uh, the disciples a play by play. Do you understand what I'm saying? He, he, he didn't have to leave them with questions. He didn't have to leave them wondering. He, he didn't have to leave them in doubt. He didn't have to leave them in confusion because of his omniscience. He knows everything. That's right. yeah. Glory to God. So he could have given them a play by play of the things that were going to transpire. Mm -hmm. Of the things that were going to happen in his life in the next 24 hours, the next 24,000 years. He could have done it, but he didn't. And there's a reason. Someone asked the question. Why? Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. He could have given them a play-by-play -play account, church. He, he could have told them about the arrest. He could have told them about the trial and, and the beating and the crucifixion and, and the death. He, he, he could have laid it out in, in such detail that they would have had, uh, had, had, had so much fear and doubt because of it. But he didn't. He gave them just enough clues to hold on to all of the turmoil, but, 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 but not so many clues to keep Peter from his denial. <coughs> not so many clues to keep them from, to keep a, 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 a Judas from, from his betrayal, but he gave them just enough to hold on. My mind. Mm. Oh, my mind. My mind. Mm. My mind. Yeah. That's good. Jesus. Mm. That's good. Just enough. Yes. Just enough. Mm -hmm. Because if he gives too much, oh, then we get involved. That's right. right. That's right. Well, we, we, oh, oh, that's going to happen. Yeah. Well, we do this, 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 and this. Jesus. That's going to well, I better do this, this, yeah. and this. Yeah. Glory to God. But he gave them just yes. enough. Yes. Thank you. Glory to God.
that this is how God deals with us as well, even today. Yeah. Glory to God. God, 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 can, God can just roll it out in a, in a motion picture. Yes. Oh, yes. This yes. is your life. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. He, he, he can start at birth and just roll it right through. And this is going to happen the ups yes. and the downs and the storms and the battles and the victories and the oh. defeats and the successes yes. and the losses and all of these oh, things. He, he can just roll it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us what it's going to be. Glory to God. But, but I think God deals with us the same way in which Jesus dealt with his disciples. Yeah. He doesn't give us a play-by-play -play of all of the difficult moments that are coming in our lives. Jesus. Glory to God. He didn't reveal all the troubles that we're going to face. Glory to God. We don't know what sickness or, or death or disaster will come the next day or the next decade in our lives. Glory to God. But if we rest in the fact mm -hmm. that Jesus has told us just enough mm -hmm. to sustain us through the difficulties of life. Amen. Yes, yes, Glory yes. to God. The difficulties of life, we know just enough yeah. to keep us grounded. We know just enough to keep us coming back for a little more. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Because yes. if, if, yes. if we take back too much, yes. if our cup is too full, you won't come back. Y'all know how we do when we yes. get comfortable. We don't pray the same. Yes. Right. When everything right. is well, we don't pack the same. Yes. When the bank account is filled with all the yes. we come to church. Yes. We travel. We yes. know this. We know that. We yes. ride home yes. to God. And yes. this and that. Glory to God. So he's given us just enough yes. to keep yes. us connected yes. to the Bible. Yes. Yes. Because God is on the throne. Yes, in yes. admonition in his word, he said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Be troubled. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Uh, th this was spoken specifically to the disciples in the face of Jesus' impending death. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Like I said, he told them, I'm going to be crucified. Mm -hmm. But don't let your heart be troubled was his response to the disciples. Believers today are in the same uh, specific situation. Glory to God. And the admonition still applies. We cannot let our hearts be troubled by anxiety or worry because Jesus has a plan. And his plan is infinite. He has a plan for our lives. And all we have to do is trust him and yes, have faith. Yes, yes. Glory to God. Senseless murders yes. are going to come. Open brawlings in the streets are going to continue. Young people are still going to fight. Old people are still fighting. Unrest in foreign countries is not going to go away. Wars and rumors of wars are going to continue. Pestilence in diverse places is going to continue. But in all of these things, glory to yes. God. Hallelujah. The king, hallelujah, his heart is in the hand of the Lord. And just like all of these things will continue to happen, just like the tides of life will continue to flow, glory to God, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And as rivers of the water flow, he turns the king's heart, whether so whether he wants it to go. Likewise with our situations and yes, our circumstances. Yes, yes, Likewise yes. with our tides yes. and our currents. Yes. They're in the hand of the master. Yes. And he turns them whithersoever he wants them to go. Yes. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. When we face trouble in our lives, we may think that if only Jesus were here Jesus. with us, mm -hmm. in person, standing beside us so that we could talk face to face, mm -hmm. uh, we could get through the trial. Glory to God. Uh, we are tempted to think that, that, that we could trust him better if he were visible and in the flesh. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. Glory to God. Sometimes we just want to reach out and touch him. Yes. Glory to God. Just as a source of confirmation. Yes. I just want to know that this thing is real. I just want to know that you're there. I just yes. want to know yes. that you are who you said you are. Yes. I don't know why you yes. was. Which one was it? Say, I want to see the nails. Yes. Uh -huh.
He's a too wise to make a mistake. Yes, right. He's slow, but he's on time. Yes, he is. Glory be to God. And everything that you need, he brings when he comes. Yes, he does. Yes. Glory be to God. If you haven't had an encounter, Jesus. you haven't tarried long enough. Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. If you tarry, terror means wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terror means staying in prayer long enough yeah, to yeah. the spirit to come. Yeah. You can't get down there. Lord, it's me again. I need to hear a word. Thank you, God, for the day. And then we, uh, uh, while I'm waiting, and then two minutes later, we up. No, you got to tarry a while. Yes. You got to tarry a while for the Lord to come. But I yes. promise you, as the word promises, he shall come. Yes, he yes. will. It may tarry, but he will come. Yes. And he will not lie. That's right. Glory be to God. He will come. This is why trouble can't. Don't, don't forget always. that. Can't. Can't. Always. Jesus. Can't. Jesus. Jesus. Last always. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. It's going to come. Because God said it was coming. Man is born of a woman. In but a few days. My mind. And it's full of trouble. Yes. Trouble can't last always. Jesus. Because God backed that up and said, Whosoever mm -hmm. shall call on my name, yes. I will visit him. Yes. Glory be to I'll save him Jesus. out of all of his trouble. Yes. Glory be to God. When we face trouble, he's a very present help yes. in a time of need. Yes. Trouble can't last always. The Lord would be to God. When we are tempted to think that we could, we could trust him better. And we could just reach out and touch him. I want you to know he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. He's the same God that parted the Red Sea. Allowed the children to walk over. Oh! 
but your family, your friend. Come on, Glory to God. The Bible says he sticks closer yes. than a brother. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Trouble can't last. Can't last. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. See, it's one thing to say it don't last. That's right, but it can't. Kent cancels it out. That's right. Yes. Do you understand yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. Kent cancels Kent. trouble out. Glory to God. And it doesn't matter what your trouble troubles are. Mm -hmm. They can be personal. Yes. Oh, it might be your Jesus. health. It might be your strength. Jesus. Maybe you kept something to yourself oh. that you should have told somebody. Mm -hmm. And now you're suffering because you didn't tell the truth early on. Oh. You suffer because you didn't tell the truth when you had opportunity. Jesus. And now the situation and circumstances are such that you are suffering because you didn't tell what you should have told in due season. Mm -hmm. Even in the midst of that type of chaos, it can't, it can't last. last. Yes. Always. Always. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, it'll come. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But it can't last. It can't. Yes. In other words, it can't prosper. That's right. Glory to God. It can't prosper. Glory to God. Amen. Because God is working in the background. Yes. yes. Glory to God. He doesn't call us orphans. Jesus doesn't call us orphans. He calls us friends mm -hmm. and brothers. Mm -hmm. God calls us his children. Mm -hmm. So we can expect great things. From our heavenly Father. Yes. yes. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what you're going through today as we prepare to come in. I don't know. And I don't pretend to know. And yes, there are times when the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. gives utterance and uses us in a prophetic light. Mm -hmm. And we thank Him for however He chooses. Mm -hmm. To come, whether it's to preach, to teach, to prophesy, however he comes, yes. mm -hmm. we glorify God for it. And yes. we thank God that we surrender and, and, and that he is able to glorify himself through us. Yes. We thank God for that. But, 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 but I don't pretend to know what you're going through in your personal life today. But there's one thing I do know. Glory to God. God is going to make everything all right. Yes, he is. Amen. He's going to do it in his perfect timing. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, it, it, it won't all make sense to us. We won't understand every facet of it. There'll be highs and lows. There'll be times of difficulty, times of strength, times of weakness. We won't understand it all. Uh, it won't always be comfortable or enjoyable, but God is working everything out. He's working something good in us if we will humbly submit and, and, and be all right with not having all the answers. That's right. Glory to God. If we will be all right Amen. with not having all of the answers. What, do, what are you saying, Pastor? Jesus. What I'm saying is don't lose the faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't become disheartened. Mm -hmm. Don't pull out of the game. Mm -hmm. Don't pull away from the church. Mm -hmm. Don't pull away from the saints. Mm -hmm. Because you're going through something yes. in your personal life. Mm -hmm. If you can hold fast to the profession yes. of your faith, you can yes. overcome. Amen. But overcoming means that you remain steadfast. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. You remain steadfast. You can't waver. Glory to God. When you say you trust God, that means that you do what we said in the beginning. Your hand is in his hand. That's right. Amen. You keep holding on. You keep running the race. You keep showing up. Yes. You keep doing what it is that you do. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. In spite of what you may be going through. That's right. In spite of the heaviness. In spite of being in, in, a, in, a, in an uncomfortable position. In, in spite of not being able to determine what the outcome is going That's to right. be. That's right. We have to have faith and trust God that he's working things out for our good. Yes. All things work to what? What? Yes. What? Together. 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 All things. Yes. All things. Troubles. That's Disagreements, right. strife, yes, yes. heartache, headache, yes, disappointments, together. lack, Jesus. disgruntledness, yes. 
Disdain yes. all things work together for good. Do you love him? My mind. Do you love him? My mind. Because if you can attest that you love him, Brother William, do you love him? Yes. If you love him today, then all the trouble right. is going to work for your good. Yes. You may not be able to see today how he's going to work it out. As a matter of fact, today, all we can do is shake our heads. That's right. That's right. All we can do today is just be a, a disgruntled. Mm -hmm. All we can do today is just have an attitude. Mm. Yeah. So he said you can be angry, just don't see it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So all we can do today is have an attitude that's about right, it. That's right, that's right. See, we won't act like we're so holy, holy, no. holy. Well, maybe you are. No. But your pastor isn't. Me, no. I'm still in this flesh. No. And when, I, when you cut me, I'm going to bleed. That's you right. You step on my toe, I'm going to say, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. You hurt my feelings, I'm going to be mad. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to sing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Yeah. But I'm human. Yes. First and foremost. Yes. I'm full of the spirit, That's praise right. God. Mm -hmm. But there's a humanistic side of me that still yes. has to operate in this earth. Yes. That's right. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. But rejoice today in knowing that whatever the trouble is, it has an expiration date. Yes, it does an expiration date. <laughs> yes. Woo! Hallelujah! Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. It has an expiration date. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It has an expiration. Yes. Yes. So there's going to be a time we're going to have to get out of here. That's right. When, when stuff expires, you throw it away. Yes. When stuff in the refrigerator yes. expires, you get it out of there. Yes. This trouble has an expiration date. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has put a date stamp on it. We don't know what the date is. That's right. Glory. It's written in heaven. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Glory. It's written in heaven. Glory. Trouble's got an expiration date. Yes, it does. Sickness has got an expiration yes. date. Glory be to God. Glory, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God anyhow. Oh, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. We won't lean to our own understanding because yes. we're not going to understand God's operation. He said, your ways are not my ways. My thoughts are not yes. your thoughts. My ways are higher than yours. Yes. So you're not going to always understand what I'm doing. But you have to trust me. That's right. Trust, this is why he said, let not your heart be troubled. The way he was saying, trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust what I'm telling yeah. you. I must go away. Yeah. I must go away. Yeah. But if I go away, don't worry because another one is coming. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another is coming. Yeah. The Spirit is coming. Jesus. Hallelujah. And he's going to reveal all truths to you. Yes. He's coming. Yes. Glory to, God. Glory to God. He's coming to make a way. Yes, he He's is. coming to bring revelation. Yes, He's coming yes. to comfort you. Yes. He's coming to rock you in the midnight hour. He's coming to drop every yes. He's coming to bring you. He's coming to speak the truth. He's coming to speak. But when you get so high up that you can nobody can, can preach to you, can tell you anything, can share anything with you. When God is speaking my and my you two are aggravated my about my the situation my. to hear God, you've got a problem. Jesus. You've got a problem. Yeah. You've got a problem. Mm. You can't win that fight. Mm. That's right. Where is your faith? My mind. Yes. Where is your faith? Where is your hope? Hope, what, what is hope? Glory to God. I'm trying to come in. Hope, hope means that my, when I, my outlook is bleak. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. My outlook is bleak. Mm -hmm. Meaning, okay, it's not favorable. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Mm -hmm. It's not favorable. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a favorable outlook, uh -huh. you, you're excited. You know, yeah, you're yeah. urging it to come on. Yes. You know, am I right, Sister Sherman? Yes. You're urging it to come on. Yeah. But when your outlook is bleak, uh -huh. and you can't see but so far, but what you do see is not good. Uh -huh. What you do anticipate is not good. What, your, what, what the enemy has planted in your mind as an outcome is not what you want it to be. Uh -huh. That's a bleak outlook. Uh -huh. That's an unfavorable outlook. Uh -huh. But when you have hope in the Lord, Glory to God. Hope says, no matter what it looks like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm standing on truth. 
No matter what it looks like. Yeah. I'm standing in faith. Yes. And because of my faith, my faith is not in my uh, ability. That's right. My faith is not in my own strength. Mm -hmm. My faith is not even in my own head. Yeah. My faith is no matter how low I make it, mm -hmm. the God of glory is going to pick me up. Thank you. 